So we're drawing parallels to air travel. So that makes me want to ask you, at this point, where are we in this luxurious pursuit of space tourism? Yeah, you look at here, uh, once upon a time, people are moving is with respect to pilgrimage, they used to go. That to the end of their life, they will go. Whether company going to Kasi, from Kasi to other to Rameshwara coming. End of their life, yes, something you fulfilled. That was the day, days. Uh, but it is today, it is not like that. For various reasons, various reasons, uh, we move around. And uh, we, we don't think it's a spending, it's an investment for everybody's life. When you, when you travel, it is not just uh, like that, it, it's definitely investment. Even in the time of tourism, if you go also, it recharges you back for whatever work to do. So similarly, similarly, uh, when you go for the mountaineering, also it rejoices you. I think similar thing in the space tourism also will happen. And uh, as repeatedly I told, uh, I, I try to correlate air travel versus a space travel. Days are not for both one and the same, going to happen there. Not only going to the moon, from again I repeat, from Chennai to Washington, also, throw space if you do, within one and a half hour you can reach this Washington. Possible. So that way the technology will enable space travel within our continents and as well as to go across the planetary system. Definitely possible. And uh, while that happening, today we travel for various reasons, tourism also there. Similarly, space we will travel for various reasons, tourism also part and parcel of that. 